Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this online service for First Lutheran Church and Preschool. I'm Pastor Andy Jones, and today I will not be leading you in worship. I'm on vacation right now, and the elders are going to be leading the service for you. What they'll be doing is they'll be leading you through some meditations on the hymn, God of Grace and God of Glory. Even though this hymn was written a hundred years ago, it's one of those hymns that still has this staying power speaks to our time today and the difficulties of life that we live through and how God is faithful through all of it. So God's blessings as you worship this morning, and I'll see you again next week. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Good morning. I am Jared Tice. I am one of the elders here at First Lutheran Church. Along with Kevin Meyer this morning, we will be handling the service, filling in for Pastor Andy while he is out of town. Uh, we have a few announcements before we begin. So as I mentioned, Pastor Andy is out of town this week. Uh, if you have any emergency pastoral needs, Pastor Mundinger from Holy Cross is available and his contact information is in the First Notes newsletter. Uh, also, it is the fourth Sunday of the month, which means we are collecting food for the Shared Barrel this week. This goes to support a local pantry called the Share Pantry at First Christian Church in Concord. Next Sunday, we will be collecting our mites for Lutheran Women in Mission projects, so please remember to bring your mite boxes next Sunday. Also, our final movie night of the summer is less than two weeks away, We'll be watching the Lego movie on Friday, September 9th, uh, so please join us for that. And finally, our Bible for the week is in Thai. Now, this Bible is written in Thai. It is the official language of Thailand. And as of 2019, there are over 2,300 people who speak Thai and or Lao in Contra Costa County. And the fun fact for Thai is that Thai words are predominantly monosyllabic and make use of tones to distinguish between otherwise identical words. So let's see. Um, Addy, you want to come do this? Come on. Awesome. Let's go ahead and find a spot to put that. There you go. Perfect. That is an excellent spot. All right. <clears throat> so that is all of the announcements that I have for this morning. So would you please stand and join us as we sing the opening hymn, Lift High the Cross.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Most merciful God, we confess that we are by nature sinful and unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives the power to become the children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. May the Lord, who has begun this good work in us, bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We are forgiven. We have the gift of God's salvation. Psalm of the day comes from Psalm 131. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up, my eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. Like a weaned child with my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. This is the feast of victory for our God. Alleluia.
Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, o Lord of grace and mercy, teach us by your Holy Spirit to follow the example of your Son in true humility, that we may withstand the temptations of the devil and with pure hearts and minds avoid ungodly pride. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. At this time, we have the children's chat. Uh, children, if you'd like to come forward, I believe that Miss Shannon has a message for you this morning. Good morning. Okay. Hi. Um, I have a question for you. Um, at school, um, I think it might be in the morning time. Um, do you say what day of the week it is? That's okay. That's fine. What, what day of the week is it today? Sunday. So, do you ever say like, Yesterday was Saturday, today is Sunday, tomorrow will be Monday. Do you do that? I know, I love doing that. It's so much fun. Okay, okay. So, <clears throat> let's try it. Yesterday was Saturday, today is Sunday, tomorrow will be Monday. Sort of fun, huh? Tomorrow will be what? Monday. Yeah, yeah, okay. So tomorrow, I, you're going to say this. Yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Oh, you can do that over and over and over again. But I want you to think about this. Jesus never changes. His love for us never changes. So while yesterday was Saturday, today is Sunday, tomorrow will be Monday, Jesus will be the same every day, every day. And he'll always love us no matter what, okay? Okay, so let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you for being the same no matter what day it is, no what day it is. and for loving us always. Us all. Amen. Amen. Okay, that's it. See you later. Good job. The uh, Old Testament reading for today is taken from Proverbs 25, verses 2 through 10. It is the glory of God to conceal things, but the glory of kings is to search things out. As the heavens for height and the earth for depth, so the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from silver, and the smith has material for a vessel. Take away the wicked from the presence of the king, and his throne will be established in righteousness. Do not put yourself forward in the king's presence or stand in the place of the great, for it is better to be told, come up here, than to be put lower in the presence of a noble. What your eyes have seen. Do not hastily bring into court, for what, you, what will you do in the end when your neighbor puts you to shame? Argue your case with your neighbor himself, and do not reveal another secret, lest he who hears you bring shame upon you, and your ill repute have no end. This is the word of the Lord. The epistle lesson is taken from Hebrews 13, verses 1 through 17. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for there, thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember those who are in prison, as though in prison with them, and those who are mistreated, since you are also in the body. 
Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Keep your life free from the love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Do not be led away by diverse and strange teachings, for it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by food, which have not benefited those devoted to them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat, for, those, for the bodies of those animals whose blood is bought into the holy places by the high priest as a sacrifice for sin are burned outside the camp. So Jesus also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore, let us go to him outside the camp and bear the reproach he endured. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek the city that is to come. Through him, then let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God, that is, the fruit of our lips that acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the Alleluia and uh, Gospel verse. Alleluia. Everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 14th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to dine at the house of a ruler of the Pharisees, they were watching him carefully. And behold, there was a man before him who had dropsy. And Jesus responded to the lawyers and Pharisees saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. Then he took him and healed him and sent him away. And he said to them, which of you having a son or an ox that has fallen into a well on a Sabbath day will not immediately pull him out. And they could not reply to these things. Now he told a parable to those who were, who, who were invited when he noticed how they chose the places of honor, saying to them, when you are invited by someone to a wedding feast, do not sit down in a place of honor, lest someone more distinguished than you be invited by him. And he who invited you both will come and say to you, give your place to this person, and then you will be begin with shame to take the lowest place. But you are invited, go and sit in the lowest place, so when the host comes, he may say to you, friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at table with you. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. He said also to the man who had invited him, when you give a dinner or a banquet, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors, lest they also invite you in return and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you and you will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. So today we're going we're gonna to do things a, a little bit differently rather than a traditional sermon. We're going to do some meditations 
uh, on a hymn, God of Grace and God of Glory, uh, in the manual, it's 850 if you're, if you're curious. And so we'll do a meditation and then we'll sing a stanza of the hymn uh, that the meditation was on. So the first meditation is called Facing This Hour. Um, and now I get into the part that I just basically said. For today's sermon, we are going to focus, be focusing on the hymn of God of Grace and God of Glory. This hymn was written by Harry Emerson Fosdick, one of the most well-known pastors of the 20th century. Fosdick served as a pastor through the Spanish flu pandemic, World War I, the Great Depression, World War II, and into the beginnings of the civil rights movement. Notice that the final line of the first stanza we are about to sing, grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the facing of this hour. As we continue to face a pandemic, the prospect of war throughout the world and financial uncertainty, this hymn speaks to us even a century after it was written. May God grant us wisdom and courage. We sing stanza one of God of grace, God of glory. The second meditation is titled, Freed from Fear. The prayer of stanza two is for freedom, freedom from fear. Fear has a way of binding us, limiting us in our love of others, and preventing us from accepting love from others. In the book of 1 John, we hear this. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. In Jesus' death and resurrection, we have been loved with a perfect love and that casts out all fear. So we are freed from fear. But the hymn reminds us that we're also freed to do something. We are freed to faith and praise. We are set free from fear, and now nothing can contain our joy and praise of God who sets us free in Christ. We sing stanza two. Though the hosts of evil round us scorn the Christ, assail his ways from the fears that long have bound us, free our hearts to faith and praise. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage. For the living of these days, for the living of these days. The third meditation is titled, Rich in Soul. Perhaps the most striking line in this hymn comes in stanza three. Rich in things and poor in soul. We know what it means to be rich or poor in things in regard to money and possessions, but what does it mean to be rich or poor in soul? We hear this warning and encouragement in Hebrews 13. Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For God has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. To be rich in soul is to trust God's provision. To be rich in soul is to trust God's promises. We live in a world where it seems impossible to ever have enough or too much. But God, but Jesus, calls us to contentment, remembering he will never leave us or forsake us. We sing stanza three. Children 
Words war in madness bend our pride to core control. Shame our wanton selfish gladness, rich in things and poor in soul. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, lest we miss your gains Final meditation is titled Grant Us Courage. The opening line in Stanza 4 is a prayer we can all pray. Save us from weak resignation to the evils we deplore. How often do we allow the evils of the world to go unchecked, unchallenged? How often have we resigned ourselves to the problems surrounding us in our society? As is repeated at the end of each stanza, we continually pray that God would grant us wisdom, that God would grant us courage. As stanza four reminds us, we have been, we have been given the gift of salvation in Jesus Christ. This gift assures our forgiveness and our eternal life with God. We will make mistakes. Our wisdom will be foolish and our, our courage will be cowardly at times. But we keep praying, and our praise, our God of grace, and God of glory. We sing stanza four. Save us from weak resignation to the evils we the gifts of your salvation be our glory evermore. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, serving you whom we adore, serving you whom we adore. Please stand for the Apostles' Creed. Let us join together in speaking the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Christian Church, the communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us join together in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Grant us wisdom and courage as we face difficult times. Help us to be faithful witnesses to the world, always pointing people to the hope that is in us, Jesus Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord and teacher, <clears throat> we pray for Pastor Matt Wood and his family as they work with Indonesian churches and leaders. Give them strength and clarity of purpose as they follow where you are leading. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of peace, we pray for the nation of Ukraine. Bring an end to the war and violence there. Let your peace, Lord, reign over all the earth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the nations, we pray for the nation of Thailand and all who speak the Thai language throughout the world, that they may all hear the good news of Jesus' death and resurrection for the forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of healing, we pray for all those who are sick, injured, and recovering. Especially today, we pray for Darlene, Ingrid, Kurt, Jerry, Brett, Vonda, Nancy, Barry, Jill, Tom, Janine, Larry, Connie, Sandy, John, Ellen, and Betty. 
Bring healing, Lord, according to your good and perfect will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Finally, Lord of joy, we pray for all those who celebrate birthdays this week. We pray especially for Bev, Ralph, Ellen, Trail, Elise, Leah, Tom, and Robert. Thank you for the years of life you have blessed them with, and we pray for your blessings in the years to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Receive now the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us peace. Amen. Amen. We sing now the closing hymn, Go My Children with My Blessing. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you have a wonderful and blessed week.